that life is bittersweet. Life is bittersweet. And here's something that many of our listeners won't know. How do you say yin and yang in Western European tradition? Nobody knows, right? We've been speaking about it since Empedocles, the founder of the four element system. And the primary forces of yin and yang in the Greek and the entire European magical tradition and wisdom tradition that flowed through to the Sufis and all of these things is not sunny and shady, shady side of the mountain, but it's love and strife. And that these fundamental forces are in the universe, like gravity and entropy. They are there and strife. It's not good and bad. It's not good and evil. It's that strife is like the Dalai Lama would teach us, right? Strife is perhaps the greater of the teachers, you know? Strife is what separates us from delusion. Strife comes in again and again and again. It's entropy. It ends. It separates. It ends. Mm -hmm. It separates. It's the autumnal phase, perhaps, if we think about the five elements in this part, you know, the shedding and dying. And that's to be sung up in the same way that the Taoists sing up quiescence and yin. Mm -hmm. Even though they're totally balanced, they sing up the unsung, right? In addition to activity, yang, striving and will and doing and initiating, they really sing up more of those two. They sing up the yin. And so singing up strife is what Empedocles did. He saw mad strife as his teacher. It doesn't mean that it's pretty. It doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. It doesn't mean that it doesn't have heartache. It doesn't mean that you want to call it force like Carly. You've got to be careful about that. I'm not saying that it's sweet and easy and beautiful. Strife is strife. It's cancer, it's divorce, it's heartache, it's all of those things. It's the loss of success, it's the loss of health. Strife comes, it's the floods that went through our community the last time we were speaking, right? Strife is there, it always has been. Strife exists at an atomic and subatomic level. Strife is woven into the fabric of the universe, right? And so how do we make our peace with that? How do we integrate that? How do we work with that? And so I think that's where in the West, the haunting of the good and evil of the God and the devil, kind of, you know, the good and bad that made it good and bad. And it's easy to go from light and shadow to good and bad, but something so fundamental is lost inside that. When we we bad make, we wrong make half of reality. It's just like, okay, sunrise, good, Mm. sunset, bad. Really? Day, good, night, bad. No, sun, good, moon, bad. You know, like suddenly we've just got this right and wrong rather than love and strife, yin and yang, that constant movement that goes through it.